much. I appreciate you guys for coming out again. I'm extremely excited to be here uh, and working with this this, uh, this program. And it's been amazing. The first few weeks have been unbelievable. So uh, uh, Paul has been great. We've had a lot of additions to the staff. Guys are working really hard. The players are really coming together uh, off the field, and it's fun to watch them compete and uh, get better as players on the field. Bobby, Paul, Paul is of the opinion that if you're a good football coach, you're a good football coach. You, know, you can coach multiple positions, like moving Bostad when he came here to inside linebackers. Right. Have you worked much with quarterbacks before, and, and will there be any transition for you, just maybe some of the fundamental stuff, or, or is it going to be seamless? How do you think you're going to handle uh, I've worked with quarterbacks all my life. As a catcher. Uh, <laughs> so I understand, you know, but I don't, it's not going to be an issue. And I agree with his statement. Um, a good coach is a good coach, and I'm willing to work hard and, and learn some things that I need to learn, but at the, at, the, at the same time, bring a lot to the room. You know, I'm excited to have Keller in there with me, Chris, as, a, as an assistant. Uh, he's played the position at a high level. We do a great job of communicating and working together. When you say learn some things you want to learn, what are some of those things? Uh, just the nuances of playing the position. Okay. What have been your early impressions of Graham? I'm sorry? What have been your early impressions of Graham? Of Graham? Yeah. Uh, man, I, it's, it's, I've been impressed in terms of Graham's approach. Um, he loves football in terms of his work ethic. He's willing to work at it mentally. You know, he's a sharp player. He's willing to work at it physically, you know, come in early stay late and try and do everything do everything he can to get better as a as a player and uh, i'm excited to see where what, what the what the future has in store but i think graham's in a great place I think he's a strong leader that's really committed to being the best for himself and his team Jody, i don't know how much he's had a chance to interact with Nicky now that he's Nicky turner now that he's moved into the middle corner but if you have what have been your impressions of him and how he can help this program as well yeah i've worked with mickey quite a bit uh, on the recruiting side and number one man Mickey had a prior relationship you know working together in pit so I respect Mickey as a person and as a man um, he did a great job with the tight ends you know just watching the film uh, last year and watching a bunch of the individual drills when I first got here getting caught up and uh, I'm impressed Mickey's is very organized he's smart he's sharp I think he's going to help us a lot Uh, early on, it's just guys are flying around. You know, I'm just looking at the big picture right now. You know, not so much as trying to narrow in on a guy, but like let's, as an offense, let's learn what we're doing collectively. Let's see how we can perfect what we're doing individually, you know, within within that concept. And just seeing who's going to grasp the big picture of what we're teaching in the run game, in the pass game, and protection. So, you know, guys will start popping out. We've only had two practices, about 100 plays. So guys will start, you know, separating themselves. And but more importantly, man, the spring is really a time for us as a as a team to come together and, and push each other to get better, offensively, defensively, and within each position group. You know, offensively, you know, the receivers are going to push each other. Offensively, the O line is going to hold each other accountable. So that's what the spring is about. It's really about us and the Badgers and how can we continue to work hard and improve and get ready uh, for the fall. Yeah, I think that's certainly a part of it for me. Uh, just being on the field with them for 15 practices is going to be great. The first two have been really good. Um, so you get a chance to run different routes. You get a chance to see formations, motion shifts. You get a chance to watch a guy uh, run routes or, or receive the handoff and, and play football uh, for, for a few weeks now. And then you get a better a sense of who they are. So it's going to be big and it's going to be fun. And I'm excited to see, you know, what each guy can bring to the table because we've done a great job of bringing some talented guys in here. And so I'm looking forward to we got some young guys, but they're talented. we got some veteran guys that have, have kind of been been there and done that. Uh, so I think we got a good mix and a good blend right now. And just a couple of practices you guys have had. What, is, what are some couple of things that have really stood out to you? I think the effort. I think the love for the game. I think the camaraderie uh, amongst the guys, offensively and defensively, the competitiveness. Uh, guys are out there and uh, they're competing hard. So those are a couple of the things in terms of the intangibles that, or the tangibles that just jumped out at me. Just schematically, how similar or different do you expect this offense to look to, to the way Wisconsin offense is traditionally? Yeah, um, I think that's going to determine itself over time. 
but you know, I think you're going to see some things that you recognize, and hopefully, you'll see some things that are that are unfamiliar. But I think right, right now we're in the process of terms of let's get back to the fundamentals. I think every year you have to rebuild the foundation, and you have to start over with the fundamentals. Uh, and, and as a, this is our first time together as a uh, as a team, as an offensive unit. So I think you know over the course of time that will define itself. Bobby with. Al Johnson, I was just recently hired, still early, but how have you seen him develop relationships with running backs? How do you think he's working with that group right now? Yeah, I think Al's been great. You know, I enjoy talking to Al, and I know the players do as well. Uh, he's very sharp football mind. He's a guy that's worn a lot of hats. Uh, he's got to play here, and he understands the game. And I think he's a great teacher. Uh, so I think that the running backs are excited to have him. I'm excited to have him, and I'm looking forward to working with him. How are you reviewing? What are some of the things you think that this offense has to improve to kind of take that step up and score more, kind of produce more on the field? Um, I, I've watched some tape, um, but you know the focus right now for us is like how do we move forward? You know, there's certainly things that you can take from last year's tape, but you know, like I said, we this year we're starting with a blank slate and laying the foundation for the 2022 Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, you look back and you say, what can we? Okay, turnovers. How can we secure the ball more? Uh, you can start looking at some technical stuff with each group. Um, but I'm really excited to, to start uh, this thing fresh and new from where we are and build on it and move forward. What appealed to you about this opportunity? I'm sorry? What appealed to you about coming in? Uh, a lot. As I said in my opening press conference, just the program, the tradition, its history, um, you know, prior relationship with Paul, and his approach, not just to the game. I think, you know, philosophically, you know, we, we think a lot uh, about football in the same way, um, but also the way he relates to the players and the way he loves being on the football field and coaching, you know. So and I was I was excited about all of those things. And, and obviously I, I had some intimate knowledge with Dean being here. So I just liked the, the, the direction and the trajectory the program was going. And it's a great opportunity for me. I'm honored, I'm humbled to be here and to be a part of this. And, and hopefully I could, you know, do some things to help us win some games. Speaking of Dean, how is he making, I know it's only two practices in, but how, how's he looking so far? He, uh, he's trying to get the offense down, man. You know, I told him he was over on defense and kind of learned and had it figured out. Coach Leonard and the staff did a great job, but no, nah, it's been fun. He's smart. All of the guys are in the same boat in terms of working at it. And, it's, and that's what we're excited about as coaches. We get a chance to teach. We get a chance to teach it in the classroom and go drill it on the field. And then you let those guys go out and play. So, you know, He's part of that mix, and those guys will be they'll be competing hard for, for some spots. You and Paul have both talked about the play calling being a collaborative process. Mm -hmm. Just how will that kind of work in terms of who gets final say, that type of thing? Well, I mean, he's the head coach. Right. <laughs> I think let's start there. But, you know, I'm going to call plays, but how does that look in terms of collaborating? I don't really know yet because we're just starting the spring. But, you know, Paul has a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience in calling plays, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean on him. I'm going to talk ball with him. What that looks like in real time in the game, I'm not sure yet. But, you know, it's going to be fun uh, and it's going to be challenging to, to figure it out and to work hard this spring and make sure, you know, we're building the, the type of offense that we want to see. I mean, I know it's early, early spring, but what have you seen from your offensive line so far? It seems like there's just a lot of guys that are really starting to press for trying to get on the field this season. Yeah. Um, you know, you see an athletic group that's, that's detailed that's workmanlike like in their approach. Um, you know, it's hard to say who's, you know, but you got guys that have experience. Uh, you know, Nelson, uh, Bordellini, Beach, uh, Brown, these guys have played football, right? Ferdinand, so I'm excited. I think there's some competition there. And obviously having Coach Bostat back in that room, you know, his track record speaks for itself. Um, I felt like I knew both when I came here after listening to Kevin Zeitler for a whole year. He was behind <laughs> me, right? in the meeting rooms every day. But now I think Bo has got a tremendous track record and he, he does a great job of, you know, just technique and preparing those guys and, and getting them ready to play. So I'm excited for our old line and, and to see how they look as we continue to build in jail. Bobby, you, you with, with Bob moving to the offensive line, but then having Al, you know, you're learning, you're talking to Alvis Witted and then, you know, Chris also taking over the tight ends. Just how much for spring is it not just for the players to, to build and develop, but also for the coaches to develop and, and build bonds and, and learn how to work with each other too? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, I think it's important. 
Um, you know, Al just came in, what, a week ago? <laughs> you know, I came in a month ago. So, you know, we're working hard to, to make sure we're right as well. But there's a lot of communication going on, which I love. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of great ideas. And again, this is, this is, this is, I tell guys all the time, this is our offense, man. This is all of us. We're all invested. So I'm excited. Alvis has been great. You know, he's sharp. Uh, he knows how to prepare receivers to get the best out of them. Uh, and this is, I think Paul's put together a really good staff. Uh, and I'm excited to see how we work together.